girl. How was your weekend? It was pretty good. We actually actually went home to see my family. We're going to take my brother to this new resistance training program because he has cerebral palsy. What's cerebral palsy? It's actually a neurological disorder that um, affects a child's brain under development, which affects their uh, muscle coordination and body movement. Dang. What does resistance training have to do with cerebral palsy? Um, resistance training is a conditioning program that uses sensitive loads designed designed to enhance health, fitness, and sport performance. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to butt in or anything. This is not my place. But uh, that's actually not the case. What do you mean? I was reading this study the other day that said the effectiveness of resistance training in children with cerebral palsy is actually questioned. There have been many previous studies, but insufficient evidence has found to support or refute uh, exercise when uh, the child has cerebral palsy. Oh, no, wait, let me see that. Of course. There you go. Okay, so it looks like there were four studies, and each exercise were multi-joint. Ah, in the previous studies, it was in an uncontrolled environment, which led to invalid results. But all the trials in this study were randomized to get the most accurate results because it was in a controlled environment. Yeah, there are four types of studies on there, uh, each conducted by a different person. I, I'm remembering one done by... Dodd. He took children ages 8 to 18 through a set of three different exercises. They exercise three times a week for six weeks and I believe that uh, the load was adjusted to the child's comfort each time they did that exercise. Oh, it looks like Lee conducted a study with five different exercises that they did it three times a week for five weeks with kids around the ages of 4 to 12. Okay, yeah, and it looks like Liao and Schultz both did studies that had sit to stand. Schultz did the leg press, but Liao had these three times a week for six weeks. Probably the most interesting fact about this entire study was the fact that all four studies found that there was no significant muscle increase. Um, I believe it was Lee did find a small but significant increase in the hip extensors. But other than that, the workouts didn't really affect the child. Oh yeah, so it's interesting that you say that because there are observable benefits to resistance training and living an active lifestyle. Even though there is no evidence um, from this research, they believe there are still benefits. And it looks like here, if they can make some changes to the experiment, they suggest doing single joint before multi-joint exercises and progress from less complex to more complex. Yeah, but important thing to remember is no two people are the same. So some children may have more success than others in resistance training exercises. Um, but I think it's really important that in future tests, they make the changes that they believe are necessary because it sounds like that could really help.